What are you doing, man? I'm just taking over the set. You just gonna jump? <laughs> hey, right. That's so, what I'm doing. So are we gonna see you in the home run derby tonight or what? What? Take a couple of swings. Why if not? You do it. I do it. Oh my All right, goodness! Let's, oh, let's, oh, do oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? A couple of swings. Yeah, just a couple. Hey, you having fun, man? Yeah, I'm having a good time. You're everywhere. Yeah. So tell the people about the HBCU game you threw on Friday night, and then the rest of the week. Well, I got here. At at like Tuesday, <laughs> uh, got a chance to hang out. But, you know, I, we all talk about giving back. And my dad gave back, and the guys before him, Joe Black, uh, you know, you got Roberto Clemente, and Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, all the guys, Jackie Robbins, all these guys gave us the opportunity to play the game that we love. And they all gave back. And, you know, about 10 years ago, right when I retired, Joe Morgan was giving me a uh, uh, the business one day and said, hey, this is what you're going to do. And I just looked at him like, hey, nah, I, nah, I got money. I'm good. <laughs> I'm a golf every day. And, and yes. all of a sudden it was like, you know, I woke up one morning. I was like, you know, it ain't a bad idea. So I started, you know, reaching out to people, uh, went to Major League Baseball Players Association, uh, got with the YDF and, and we put this thing together and it was uh, not tough, but you know, there's a lot of detail work that had to be worked out. But uh, yeah, you know, but you guys are all giving up. You really, you made money. You've had your career. You got your families. It's a sacrifice that you don't have to make. That's you. That's Pedro. That's you as well. And so the game needs you. Did you see Albert? I'll ask you. That's why I got Ken here, and he can jump on this too. Towards the end, we've seen such a change in our sport. Did you see a need like, hey, I really want to help bridge this gap? Is that one of the reasons where you're sitting here today with Junior? Well, I think it's the same thing. Junior knows. We got guys that put their arms over us, you know, and paid the way, you know, like Pedro was saying, you know, paying the way for us to get to the big leagues. And I think we have so many guys around us that tell us the right way. And it's our time, you know, to do the same thing. So I think that's why Griff is doing what he does. That's why Pedro, myself, do what we do in the Dominican Group. Dominican Republic uh, because of that you know because we we were thought the right way with right guys that run us now Pedro dominated the Mariners particularly in this stadium and Albert was like it's not a hitters park just to be honest what was your take on this park knows, it's tough to hit hitter. huh he knows it's not I'm, a hitter. I'm left-handed so it didn't bother me <laughs> <laughs> the right-handed hitters you know they was a little upset you know, it was a little deep who, in the gap. Who had the best line when they hit a ball and they came back and said, what in the world? Uh, remember, there was a, a Nikon sign back there in, in left center. And everybody would be like, don't hit it there. You're going to catch it because it ain't going out. I was like, it, it, it ain't that bad. If you hit it, it'll go. I, I have a question for you. You're talking to three of the greatest players of all time. These two got 700 hard. <laughs> Great. So we have a home run derby tonight. You know, have you had a chance, you know, to talk to Julio about it? Because you participated in winner before. Have you given a little bit of advice to him about it? No, I haven't seen him yet. I they, they, I just got off the out of the car. I came on the field, but I'm gonna go talk to him for a minute just to settle him down and say. Uh, just do a couple things and you're going to win this thing. You know, he's got a awesome. chance to, like, help you out because no one's won as many home run derbies as you. If Pete Alonzo wins tonight, who Julio's facing in the first round, Pete would tie you for the most and home run derby. And I got record. a year to prepare for next year when it's just me and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> like Rocky and Apollo, we just ring the bell in an empty cage. Ding, ding, let's go. <laughs> You really have that much confidence. I think you believe you could still win one. He does. <laughs> tell, him about, tell him about WBC Challenge. Took you how many swings? <laughs> well, so uh, the first week at WBC while we were in uh, Arizona, I didn't, I didn't have a bat. I just brought my glove. And they gave me a little ribbing because they said, you the hitting coach with a glove. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Mookie and Trout. I'm like, y'all can hit. I, I'm just here to pick up the balls. <laughs> So they kept talking about, hey, we're going to get you to hit. And I'm like, I'm not hitting. No, I'm not hitting. When was the last time you hit before all this? Yeah. I'll okay. get to that. All right. Junior. So now. Oh, Junior. I, got, I got something I want to, I, I actually want to mention. And at the same time, thank you for, it, for, for what you're doing. I've seen you involved with the Players Alliance. I've seen you involved with Major League Baseball, developing the African-American community and in, in, into coming to baseball. If you had 
a message that you really want to give to the next generation of players and uh, the future fans or everybody out there? What will it be? Because I've seen you working so hard. You've got to be tired because I've seen you involved in everything. What, what is it that you specifically want to say to the people about I, the game of baseball? I was fortunate enough to play the game that I love. And, and not everybody's in the, in the same position I was at the same age. So, you know, I was able to be seen at 12, 13, 14, go into a ballpark. And if you give a kid an opportunity to be seen and, and, and love, they're going to be better. And all it takes is one kid to come to a ballpark, to come see a game, to, to have a parent who loves the game of baseball. They're going to be baseball fans forever. And that's what you want. You want them to be able to pass the torch. And it, that's what my dad did to me. He passed the torch, and now it's my turn. But going back all right, to. Get back to the story. All right. <laughs> so I happened to call my wife and say, hey, bring my bat. Bring Lucille. <laughs> she got a name. name too. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Junior. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Wait. So oh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Finish the story. <laughs> Boy, Ken can't finish his story. We got big. I'm not working now. today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got all the stars here, folks. It is the all-star game. This is why we love the show. Out. We love it. We love it. Right. Hold on. Repeat, right. repeat the name again. What Lucille. All right. Got Lucille. Get Lu Pick up Lucille. Go ahead and bring Lucille. Names his bat Lucille, Poppy. His so bat is named Lucille. He's, he's telling a story about his he's bat telling being story. named okay. Lucille. So finish his story. Hey, why don't he tell you that I beat him in the home run derby when I was in Able? Whoa. Oh, oh I got the video Whoa. on that. Whoa. We go. I'll get back to that, too. <laughs> so, you know, okay, let me start off with that. Now, you know how parents always let their child win at something early to build confidence? Now look at them. <laughs> look at them. Look. Oh, shit. All right, I told you the story. Now, so, I, so she drive Lucille down. <laughs> okay. So I go in there and tape her up nicely. And then, so they saw me with the bat. They were like, "You gotta go in. The, you gotta go in the cage." I was like, "Nah, I'm just gonna walk around with it." See, he just had to make a it look like a coach. Way he taped right. The barrel. So okay. Mookie is walking around tapping me on my ribs, talking about, "Oh, you ain't got it no more. You ain't got it no more." So I said, "All right, all right. What, what, what we betting?" He said, "You couldn't do it in ten swings." I said, "You would lose that bet. You would actually lose that bet." <laughs> I did it in nine. <laughs> um, but that wasn't an important thing, is that now he owes me, we're going to go bowling now. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. But, wait, hold on, wait. but I get a, like right, but I got, I get a 40 pin uh, a handicap. handicap. <laughs> <laughs> I told him age minus 13, so 40 pins. So I start off 40. If I get around 190, it make it tough for him. <laughs> Even though he's he, he can bowl. Numbers. You guys See, are all the most competitive. Hey, hold the last thing I gotta throw in there, your your line though, the one of the best lines. He has some lines now because he used to say, hey, why do I need to stretch? Does a cheetah stretch before, before he, he chases go get his prey? <laughs> all right, that was he to say every day. So what'd you tell them about the bat? It's on what? Oh, the bat's on autopilot. It know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> I never there's heard no that like one before. The body. There's no one like it. No one. You want to you. Right now, there's been times where I was looking in the in the bat rack for my bat. It was already at home plate. Talk about, I got you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just put your hands on me. I got you. The bat. Lucille knows where Lucille. to go. Right. Yeah. Now, now, and as a hitter, right here, these guys, they know that feeling when it don't matter who's on the mound, you gonna get a hit. Yep. And you just sit there, you're like, oh, then let me just hold you for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it know how to get through the zone. <laughs> it know, like, oh, it don't matter. God. Everything is in slow motion, and the ball be right there, be like, just hit me. And you like, <laughs> you just reach out and just touch it a little bit. That easy. Oh. It's just that easy. Oh, I mean, shucks. Pedro had him. See, the people, 90 Greg, I'm sorry. Three of the greatest players of Greg, all time. The, 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 people people finally, it. the people got to finally see Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> he throws a Bugs Bunny change up to me. And I was like, it's going to be a long day today. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say this, but we got to go to break. Ken, this oh, could be an hour-long show. <laughs>
I look forward to seeing you in the home run derby next year. I didn't bring year. Lucille, so I can't uh, do it just Oh, next year. Uh, Lucille but next knows year. where to go. Next she'll, year. She'll arrive next year. Right. Before you. Yes, she will. <laughs> <laughs> because she knows where to go. She knows where to go. All right.